back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get roy into the news. For our first story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, NBA 2K19 has been getting ravished. It's like a hurricane of glitches just destroying the game right now. And not six hours goes by without a new game breaking glitch. And I was playing last night, my guy. Oh my god, bro. I gotta take a break. So we know about the inbound glitch. It was supposedly patched in the last patch. I talked to Mike Wang. He said they found out a new method to do the inbound glitch a little too late. The patch was already sent out. So that's gonna get addressed in the next patch, but it's still in the game for now. Yesterday, people found out that if you put on a specific type of t-shirt, then you can be invisible on the park. I've been having to guard invisible people for the last 24 hours. And you might have thought, Agent, bro, did everything stop there? Nuh-uh. People randomly walking on the court even though they're not in the game. All the blue screening, all the delaying that's reached an all-time high. Ladies and gentlemen, just a couple hours ago, somebody uploaded a video that's been doing pretty well. It's been getting shared on Twitter, most definitely. And it's a VC glitch that people are doing even though I'm trying to warn y'all, you will get banned. Xavier sent this clip on Twitter. It's not a clip of him. I think this is Dan Wizard playing. And it's him on the twos guarding an invisible ass player. The invisible player is currently dropping him off with all the dribble cheese. How do you defend this? And when they don't have the ball, you can't see their name. So they're literally invisible. At least when they have the ball, you know where they kind of are. And then he ends up losing the game to an invisible ass player. This guy named Statistics uploaded a VC glitch. Now, I'm, I've been trying to tell people, people won't listen. You, listen, you can find out the hard way, just do the glitch and get banned. But in the video, the part that I found interesting wasn't the glitch necessarily, which by the way is really easy to do. It was the fact that he said, yo, this is not my glitch, I'm not the originator. And I'm like, okay, okay, that's, that's cool. He's not taking credit for something he didn't create, I didn't know that. And then. He gave the username of the person who created the glitch. <laughs> what? When you uploaded this video, you already risked getting a strike on your channel. And on top of that, you risked getting banned in the game. And then you gave 2K that guy's username? My guy. You're going to get him banned too. Why would you do that? Oh my god. I just so much stupidity going on, man. When he gave the user, like his username is, I'm like, I know he's not about to snitch on his friend right now. Anytime there's a glitch and he gets popular on any platform, whether it's Reddit, Twitter, or YouTube, the devs hear about that shit immediately. I'm telling you, my guy, because there was one time there was this glitch that was gonna break the game, and I hit up Mike Wang, I was like, hit this fast. Fast, my guy. We will not be able to play the park with this glitch going on. And then he's like, yo, we already knew about that. And I was like, how? I just found out about it, and people tweet me everything. So yo, they're usually on top of shit. I'm hoping a lot of this stuff gets glossed over. I mean, it doesn't get glossed over. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it to get glossed over. I need these things to be addressed, ladies and gentlemen. And then it keeps going. I was playing last night with Davis and another guy, and Davis was lagging out. Now, I thought, I thought it was Davis's connection. Come to find out, ladies and gentlemen, there was a guy called Zuwapa, who, by the way, I will 100% be getting you banned, my guy. I will not stop until the devs ban this guy. He was live streaming him, delaying us. Now, I actually didn't notice any difference myself. It was just Davis who was experiencing it, which is odd. I've never had that happen before. This live stream is titled Trolling Agent Zero and I'm Davis, Headass NBA 2K19. Now, I'm gonna click forward. Are you guys prepared and ready, ladies and gentlemen? His whole channel is dedicated to delaying YouTubers that he joins the parks of. And he's self snitching on himself. I was flabbergasted. You could, can, is there another screenshot? Oh, that was it? Okay, so immediately I was like, all right, so Mike Wang, I need an IP ban, a console ban, an account ban. He needs all the kinds of bans you could possibly imagine. So right when I was preparing for this video, I was setting up all the tabs and everything. I went to his YouTube channel and he privated all of the videos. Zuwapa, do you think you're getting away with this, my guy? You're getting banned. All that shit you did with your player, my guy, banned. You're starting all over again. I need you to spend that $50 of VC. And you're gonna have to rebuy the game too if you, if you downloaded the shit. If you downloaded the shit, you're gonna have to rebuy the game. 
And then you have to spend all that time again on your character because you're a whole ass bitch. You're the reason the 2K community is toxic. It's you, my guy. And I can't wait till they find a way to ban all y'all at once. Boom! All the delayers gone. So that's kind of the gist of it. For our next story of the day, uh, there's been like a decent amount of drama on the Twitterverse, ladies and gentlemen. And it, it always has to do with annoying. Annoying, my guy. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? <laughs> He must be doing this on purpose. He says shit about somebody on stream knowing that they're gonna end up hearing about it and then the people hear about it and then they admittedly react to the thing that he said about them. Hank the Tank was angry on Twitter after annoying stream. He said, apparently because I 22 old Los Polos on a 3v3 My Park game, I fell off once again. How dumb are people LMFAO? How much do you make a month and what's your following? Please let me know. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if this one has to do with annoying. But I think it was all mixed together because it was a follow-up tweet saying, Get your views up, bruh. Added annoying. Say, ain't no cult chasing over here, buddy. He's basically flexing saying, listen, man, my name is Hank the Tank. And even though I haven't been really uploading YouTube videos like that, they still pop. On top of that, my guy, I've been killing it on Twitch. So what you talking about? I don't I don't really know the context of what he said. It would have been nice if we got like a clip or something like that. Annoying streams belong as f he talks a lot of shit, so you never really know what part triggered Hank. Hank followed up saying, shout out to this toxic dick eating rat for motivating me to grind even harder one or two videos a day. I ain't seen no one or two videos a day, Hank. I'm waiting on those one or two videos though. <laughs> There was also some more drama. Steezo was mad at Annoying for a similar thing. Annoying was talking smack on stream. Steezo heard about it in a clip, and then he went on Twitter, put out like two or three tweets saying, yo, you can't call me a weirdo, this, that, the third. Fear is not real, I am the greatest. My name is Steezo. He said something to that nature, I think so. I think that's what I remember reading. But then he deleted all of it. And I, when I came to record the video, I was like, oh no, how'd I mess that one up? I usually am really prepared, man, when, when, when I hear about some drama, man. I usually screenshot the, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. But again, it was annoying saying something on stream. And from what I understand, in the whole context of things, if you didn't just watch the one clip, it made more sense what annoying was saying. But I, with this, the clip Steezo put out was only one minute long. And from what I heard, he didn't tell, it didn't tell the full story. So maybe there's a chance that maybe he heard more. He's like, oh, okay, so maybe Annoying wasn't really talking shit. And that's why he deleted them. Or maybe he just said, yo, I don't want to deal with the negativity. And that's why he deleted them. I'm not sure. <sighs> what I do know is that, yo, like, 2K19, like, like we just got to work on things together. As a community, right? Yeah, we got to do that. For our next story of the day, I gave a challenge to Crashy Lion a few weeks ago, my guy. And in the challenge, I, I told Crashy Lion, listen, he's claiming to have here 450 KVC per minute. I watched the video, I reacted to the video, I gave him a challenge, I said, listen, I wanna see 15 million in your account, or you're lying. And so for him, it's a lose-lose regardless. Either he says that the glitch isn't real and he's lying about his glitches, which we all know is already the case, it'd just be funny to hear him say it. Or he has to buy thousands of dollars of VC to prove to me it's real. Either way, Crashy Lion is losing. But if Crashy Lion was smart, I know he doesn't play 2K like that anyway, he would use the VC glitch that just came out and just spam that shit. Spend your whole day, Crashy Lion. Spend the entire day and try and get as much VC as possible and then try and convince me that you made that VC using your glitch and not the actual real VC glitch. That, I'm just giving you some advice, Crashy Lion. That's all it is, it's just advice. For our next story of the day, I'm not really sure about this one, but for those who don't know, uh, NBA Playgrounds 2 was bought by NBA 2K a few months ago, it was announced. And if you guys remember, in NBA Playgrounds 1, I had a character in that game, man. It was pretty cool, it was the first time I ever had myself in a game. And I mean, of course, I had the second time now with NBA 2K19 coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow my Instagram. I'm trying to post more on there. I did post this screenshot on there. Anyway, I'm curious since 2K is the publishing company now for NBA Playgrounds, and they already have my face scan in their systems. Am I gonna have a character in NBA Playgrounds too? I'm just saying. Uh, I think a beta comes out for it real soon, so I'm probably gonna upload a video or two and see how you guys like it. From what I understand, it was a lot more in depth than NBA Playgrounds 1 was. Plus, they had like an extra five months to develop it because 2K bought them, so 
There's that too. Anyway, that's not all the glitches and the problems there are with the game. There's not just one VC glitch. There's a few going on right now, all of which you can assume is going to be patched real soon. Because if there's anything 2K hates more than a glitch, it's a glitch that hurts their pockets, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to come at you hard. I'm telling you right now, unless you don't care about your account and you're like, if I get banned, whatever. I don't care no more. I'm, I quit anyway. It, unless that's you, I wouldn't recommend doing it. I most definitely will not be caught doing it. I have a verified account. I cannot risk losing that. On top of that, I'm a YouTuber, so it's not really too hard to get games on the stage for me. It's actually really easy. We get crowds all the time. So I make a lot of VC every day anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, guys, that was Drama Alert today. Haha. <laughs> yeah, leave a like, yo, or sub subscribe to the channel. Hey, click one of these two videos, though. <laughs> you, click you clicked it? You clicked it, right? All right, cool.